Today, I want to talk to you about the news that landed here overnight in the UK that HD Zero are working on releasing their own set of digital FPV goggles with their HD Zero system built in. Not only that, though, if they deliver what they've said in the spec, this could be the one set of goggles to rule them all because not only does this look impressive, it looks a massive step improvement to where we've been before in resolution, latency, but also compatibility as well. Now, before we jump over to the website to take a look at what Carl has actually said, it is worth me saying that these won't be the first set of FPV goggles to have HD0 built in. The first were these, the Scout HDs. However, these were a low-end FPV goggle designed to allow people to get into HD0 or Sharkbite as it was back then at under $350. At the higher end, people were choosing goggles such as the HDO2s, the Skies on all four axes, as well as the Orcas. But there was no solution in place giving us an all-in-one dedicated goggle. This week, Orca have released their updated FPV1 pilots, which I talked about yesterday. And whilst they do look very, very interesting, again, they don't have digital FPV built in. And there is a reduction in the field of view that is putting some people off, which we'll talk about a bit more later on. However, the news that Carl has put out may change everything. And if we jump over to my desktop, you can see the post that Carl has put on the HD Zero Facebook page. And this is that they are working on a set of goggles with HD Zero integrated. They're going to offer four millisecond glass to glass fixed latency. This if it happens, is incredible. And what you've got here is the combination of an integrated goggles with the HD Zero system and high quality screens. And this will be far lower than we've seen on anything else. They're going to feature the next generation ultra thin optic engine, 0.8 of an inch thick. And wait for the big one here. They're going to have 10 80p which is 1920 by 1080p 2000 nits OLED displays that is incredible and a substantial step further than we've been on any of the other standard style FPV goggles higher than the HDO2s the Orcas or the Sky Zones if that happens it is incredible and it is pushing the FPV goggle industry forward massively they're going to feature, based on those displays and the optical engine, a 43 degree field of view in 16 by 9 and a 38 degree field of view in 4 by 3 and software scalable field of view as well. Now, I'm going to come back to this bit because there's some things I want to talk about on the field of view. That is the one spec I'm a little bit disappointed in and I would like the field of view higher. I want it closer to DJI, and I'll talk about that in a minute. They're going to feature HDMI input, which makes them compatible with all HDMI signals, as well as you can use them as, say, a monitor for your PC or your mobile phone. HDMI output to share the HD0 feed with others. They also mention use mobile phone as an external display. So do they mean over USB? Is that some form of USB display output like we've seen on DJI? It's going to feature an analog input compatible with all existing analog modules, a modular mounting rail system for antennas, analog modules, and anything else that you can think about. The massive unbelievable feature that is going to have a power button uh, blowing my mind here that a set of fpv goggles is going to have a power button express lrs backpack support fantastic to see and this next feature which i really like is microphone to record the ambient sounds in the dvr which means the ground sound which is fantastic because for those of us who do this and want to record what we're doing and talking about it that is really really handy and then it's going to feature a dc input 2 to 6s now as i've said there's a few things here i want to talk about and the first is regarding the field of view they're stating it's going to be four by three in 16 by nine that is about the only thing i am disappointed in in these specs i would like to see the field of view increased 
closer or at least to match what we've got on the HDO2s and the Skyzone 04Xs, which is the 46. I would love it to be closer to what DJI have, which is 50. And because they have the option of the software scalable, it doesn't matter that it's too big because you can bring that back. So this is something I would like to see changed. I think the 40, 43 is okay, but I would like to see it closer to what we've already got. And the Orca 2 pilots, or the Orca 1 pilots, I should say, they have also had a reduced field of view to a very similar number as this. And there has been quite a bit of disappointment from the community on that. So I do hope that HD0 take this on board and look again at what they're offering on the field of view. With regards to the analog input, you can see that they've mentioned that it's going to be compatible with all existing modules. And then if you look under this little bit here, um, a modular mount rail system to mount analog modules. So what I'm guessing on this is not that there's going to be a bay, but you're going to have the option of plugging an analog module in, either via a wiring harness and having it on like a, an external 3D printed mount or on your head strap like we've seen on others. I'm absolutely fine with that i don't necessarily personally feel it has to have an analog bay as long as it's got the option for people to do proper analog and that can also be recorded on the dvr as well then i would be happy with that but it is important that if it has got that analog in but it does go to the built-in dvr too now They've said the first batch will be ready for the beta testers, which is their small, tight-knit group of guys in May. And as always, they are asking for input from the community. So again, for me, I'd like to make sure that that analog module input can record to the DVR and that the field of view could be increased possibly as well. There is a balance here with size and weight, I understand, but I would personally prefer the goggles were a little bit bigger and had the larger field of view than smaller and restricted. Again, though, there is some incredible specs here, and if this happens and we have no reason to think it won't, this could literally turn the FPV goggles market on its head because even today Orca have just released their FPV1 pilots which look a fantastic set of goggles don't get me wrong I would love to own a set of these or at least try a set of these and I am going to try and do that and review them on the channel there is some things people were unhappy with which is that reduction in field of view and it has been reduced as a result of them changing that optics engine. So we're going to have to see how people take it. If it is going to be like that, we've all got used, well, those of us who've been using the higher end goggles have got used to those larger immersive field of views. And I don't really want to step back from that. Whilst these are looking to be a fantastic set of goggles. They don't have that HD system built in, whereas what Carl is planning is going to have HD Zero native support on board. But really, what you can take from these is one for all, because they're going to have HDMI input, they're going to have HDMI output, they're going to have HD Zero built in, and the option of a goggles module. What more do you want? And if they deliver on those 1080p 2000 nit displays, it's just going to be fantastic. It really, really is. So that's it. I just wanted to share that news with you. If it sounds like I'm excited, it's because I am, because this really could change things up. I'm literally looking to get a new set of FPV goggles right now. I was leaning on getting the FPV1 pilot. I was waiting for these to come out, but I've held back a little bit now because this reduction in field of view. I want to try them before I buy them. So I'm going to try and get my hands on a set just to see what it's like. I wouldn't mind trying the original ones because I never actually tried them. So it's going to be interesting to see as well. Anyway, that's it from me on this one. If there's any more news, I will let you know. Get on the HD Zero Facebook page. Tell them what you think. Give them your feedback. And let's hope we see some more info on these goggles very, very soon.